150 years from now, none of us listening to this post today will be alive. 70% to 100% of everything we are fighting over right now will be totally forgotten. Underline the word, totally. If we go back memory lane to 150 years before us, that would be 1873. None of those that carried the world on their heads then are alive today. Almost all of us listening to this will find it difficult to picture anybody's face of that era. Pause for a while and imagine how some of them betrayed their relatives and sold them as slaves for a piece of mirror. Some killed family members just for a piece of land or tubers of yam or cowries or for a pinch of salt. Where is the yam, cowries, mirror or salt that they were using to brag? It may sound funny to us now, but that is how silly we humans are sometimes, especially when it comes to power or trying to be relevant. I remember those days in my secondary school, how some people fought and did so many unimaginable things just to have their names shortlisted among those to be made school prefects. Ordinary school prefects. It's just about 27 years since I left secondary school. Nobody in that school right now remembers that I even schooled there, despite my popularity then. Now imagine what happens after 150 years. Even when you claim the internet age will preserve your memory, Take Michael Jackson as an example. Michael Jackson died in 2009. That was just 14 years ago. Imagine the influence Michael Jackson had all over the world when he was alive. Gosh, he was like a god. How many young people of today remember him with awe? That is, if they even know him. In 150 years to come, his name when mentioned will not ring any bells to a lot of people. And that's despite his popularity. So imagine the majority of people who will never be known worldwide like him. Let us take life easy. Nobody will get out of this world alive. The land you are fighting for and ready to kill for, somebody left that land. That person is dead, rotten and forgotten. That will also be your fate. In 150 years to come, none of our vehicles or phones we are using today to brag will be relevant. We must take life easy. Let love lead. Be genuinely happy for each other. No malice, no backbiting, no jealousy, no comparison. It is not a competition. At the end of the day, we all have the same destiny in the grave. It is just a question of who gets there first. But surely...